Let's go to the RTY real quick, and this applies to all markets. The question Veronica had was when you trade other markets, I know some traders outside of this room, they don't trade crude oil and gold. The system works on all markets. It doesn't matter what market you look at. I don't care if you trade copper, soybeans, Russell 2000, S&P 500, uh, Dow minis, NASDAQ futures. It doesn't matter what you trade. You're going to have the same exact setup. What we're trying to do is we're trying to buy and sell uh, stacked market profile levels. The question was, was when I release, uh, um, or right now, the five sim Renko I show in the room, my Renko bars. And the question is, do you use a five sim Renko in all markets? The answer is yes. When the arrows fire off on Ninja 8, we'll be releasing Ninja 8 here in November. and uh, uh, when the arrows, the arrows are going to fire off when these reversal bars come in and when they're qualified. And the question was, do you use a 5 or 3 sim? I'm going to be using a longer term Renko in the room. I'm going to be showing a 5 sim in the room. And other markets are the same way. We sent a bunch of charts out to you yesterday on your email showing how powerful the reversal bar is. And you can see the open versus the close right here on the last short on the RTY. This is a short signal. It happened just after 7 o'clock here not too long ago. Why was this such an important signal? It's a great signal because if you look, this is a flat range market. Our number one rule in a flat range market, no matter what market you trade, these rules are all the same. And I wanted to go over a video on this to show you guys. The rules apply to all markets, no matter what. What we're trying to do, we have three market profiles on a chart, no matter what market you look at. And the three market profiles that we look at are volume profile, price profile, and developing profile. So when I'm looking at any type of market, it doesn't matter what market you look at. This works on stocks, too. It works on any type of stock you trade. Some Forex it works on, but you really can't do volume on Forex. So, but mostly uh, futures and stocks. But right here, the small red line is your developing profile. The most important of all the profiles is big red thick line that is volume profile and then your little dots are are, are price profile so this has been around for 32 years right here you, you look at this combination of a stacked area this is what's called a stacked or brick wall this morning on the Russell and so I got three times market profile one two three when they all stack like that you have resistance that's called high value area which is red Vice versa, if you come down to green, my green thin line is the developing. The dots are my price profile, been around since 1985 for over 32 years. And my big red thick green level is the volume profile that's taken all the hedge fund, algorithms, professional, amateur traders, banks. It's giving you major support and resistance from volume coming in the market. So I can see my low level on this spinning top. Spinning top is typically when you're one tick from the open versus the close, you're about one tick away versus this reversal bar, that means the open close is equal. So I got an open close up here that's equal, that called a sell signal. I got a spinning top at a brick wall, which is one tick in between each other, that called the low on a brick wall. Up here, I got a spinning top. You can see my Rinko bar, open versus close, was in one tick of each other, and that created the high. So I look for these spinning tops and especially these reversal bars at key profile levels. And it called beautiful trades yesterday and Monday again on this reversal bar. Now with Ninja 8, it'll be a little easier. You'll see a little arrow pop up when these form. When I release Ninja 8, you'll see a little arrow that, fire, that fires. So you'll see a little arrow that's going to fire off and it's going to show you a possible reversal. So what you'll do is you'll wait till the market gets into the stacked levels, look for the arrow and see if we fire. It can be a very easy, simple a solution for traders that can't identify a spinning top or a reversal bar. So they're very easy to see though. So what we try to do, on a, we can see we have a trend filter, which is the Magenta MA. The market's very flat. We're in a range market today on the Russell 2000. So it's very, very, very simple understanding that we have in the room. 
or my longer term members know that we sell the high by the low. The one thing we do not do in a flat market is we do not trade the middle. So this blue line is the most volume that's traded right here, this blue thick line. We only trade that in trend markets if we're hard down or hard up and we wait to a break and retest with trend. Other than that, you do not trade the middle. In range markets or chop markets, because you're going to get them about two or maybe three times a week on any market, you never trade the middle. So traders are to avoid trading the middle. So this is a no trade zone right here. No trade zone. So any market you pull up and you log in and you sit down at your computer and you want to start trading any market, the first thing I look at is trend. Am I trending up, down, meaning am I going vertical? Am I hard trending up or down? Or am I sideways? If my if my uh, trend filter is sideways like this, you can see the magenta MA is just sideways. The smaller MA is going up and down through it. There's no trend today in the Russell. If that's the case, I want to sell the high and buy the low. And I want to keep doing that on the first and second test of, this, of these stacked areas until I break out. And when I break out, I want to get way away from it and then retest it and then try to get into a trend market again. The best way to do it is let it break out, see if it's going to hold, see if you get a continuation, and then you go back into trend. So very easy to understand. So that's, that's what we want to try to do. We want to look for these reversal bars, guys and gals, right? The open versus close. And this is what's neat about Ninja 8 that's coming out. I'm going to have these coded for you. I want to try to see a reversal bar, open versus close, it's the same. And with Ninja 7, it's like a flat line. You'll see a big white line that goes down through it. You see the difference right there? And then spinning tops are one tick away, so they're little boxes in the middle. That means open versus close are one tick away from each other. But you can see my Renko, I, I like seeing these reversal bars. I sent a lot of charts out to you yesterday. If I look at yesterday the same way, if I see the reversal bar <clears throat> called the high in the morning at 10 o'clock, see how important they are. And at the time, we had a stack there level before these moved. You can see how it called that high up there. You want to look for the open versus close here again. You see this M top, beautiful at 930 yesterday. It's just a tickle pink on this trade because I love M tops on reversal bars. And you'll, you'll see that right there. Look at that open versus close right at a key level. The market tanked again. So I want to see these reversal bars at key market profile levels. And when I see those, or I see those, you're going to see major stacked areas. So the Russell M top yesterday was right there. Look at that big profit potential. Huge profit potential there. And look at that one also. Right at the reversal bar, open versus close. So I want to look at open versus close being the same at key market profile levels and then turn a red rank of bar and negative market delta. It works out really, really well on all markets. But you can see when a range market, and this is what I want you to expect in range or flat markets. If the Magenta MA flattens out, sell the high, buy the low. Sell the high, buy the low again, and look what they've done. This is not just by chance that they had a spinning top down here again, and now they're buying the low again from selling the high. So you can do it on the first and second test. This, sell the high, sell the high. Buy the low, buy the low, come up again and see if they rotate back down again if you get a reversal bar or a spinning top. So and with negative market delta. You can see it's a consistent process, but I am using a 5 sim, my longest Renko, on the RTY to answer Veronica's question. Okay? Does that make sense, guys and gals? Look at how beautiful that chart is, though, in the range market. That's just being smarter than your trading opponent, knowing that we're not in trend, buying the low and selling the high. Answer your question, Veronica. We good to go? You're welcome. So I sent that chart over to you in your email a second ago also. All right? Yes, I want Delta on the reversal. Yep. What I've been finding here, Terrence, and what I've been coding Ninja 8, is when I get this reversal bar right here, when I get this reversal bar, Gerald, shift this off in a second. When I get this reversal bar right here, where this arrow's at, I want to see negative market Delta at that reversal bar, the same exact bar on the 5 cent. I want to see negative market Delta right here right exactly at that open versus close okay exact same bar i want to see it i want to see me i want to see it just did it on gold a second ago gold had a reversal bar right at the brick wall you see how gold did that terrence you see how gold gave me a reversal bar and delta at the exact same bar that's what i want i want to see both happen 
if I see a reversal bar and my delta is still green, that's not a, that's not an alignment that I want to see. And that, that's why I try to make trading as simple as possible for you guys and gals. If delta is over here, delta is the relationship between the bid and the ask, right? We had a shift between the bid and the ask right here on the Russell 2000, right at that reversal bar. And that's what you want to see, okay? Then you got the negative Renko, and check this out. Negative Renko, negative Renko, negative Renko. Hold the runner. Negative Renko, negative Renko, negative Renko, negative Renko. So you can scale still at the first 10 ticks. You can scale here 50% of your position. And then where, where are we trying to get to? We're trying to get all the way down to the next brick wall. Then I got the nice spinning top that came up, and then she just got a positive market delta right down here, and now she goes all the way back up again. 